Hey gang, it's JC and this is the Daily Dose for Thursday, August 30th, 2012, a combined venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Clayton. Great television archives up top, JC's eye candy below, and over in the corner the results of our rock and roll poll question. We update the dose every Monday and Thursday. We're going to be off this Monday for the Labor Day holiday, and I spent the entire week being sick. I don't know anything that happened. This is going to be a short dose I got nothing. I've been flat on my back for three days, except for out to go to the doctor the other day. Don't catch this. As I sang for you the other day, a summer cold is a different animal. All right, Ryan Roll Poll. <clears throat> Do you have a friend or family member who openly states that they believe that the moon landing was fake? We talk about this because Neil Armstrong will be laid to rest here in the next couple of days. Number one answer at 91%, no. I think you're lying, or I don't think you've talked to enough of your relatives. See, I contend that every family has one of these. We had a football team here. We have a football team here that had one of these. Marshall Falk does not believe that the Americans landed a man on the moon. I just thought the number would be higher. 6% of you said, yes, I got somebody in my family that does believe that. And 3% of you say, actually, it's me who believes the moon landing was fake. All right, with Labor Day upon us, have you ever seen or overheard uh, about something your boss did that he or she could have been arrested for? Okay, so you got a boss and you hear something or you see something, you find out about something, you know what? He could go to the pokey for that, all right? Answers, no, yes, or yes, and I'll probably have a job for life because he or she knows I know about it. I've had two of these, by the way, but I'm gonna probably wait to tell you about it because I gotta really think about how I'm gonna tell these stories. But I, I have two, two where they could have gone to jail. All right, uh, Liberty Weekend, as we mentioned, St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church Festival. Oh, my gosh, if you haven't been over there at the Central West End to uh, have some Yeros and a, and a Mythos, uh, oh, gosh, do it. But then again, of course, we have the hurricane coming in, and they're talking about anything from, like, two to five inches of rain with isolated spots that could see eight inches of rain. You may be watching this right now over the course of the weekend while the raindrops are tearing your roof off, but uh, <clears throat> going to be interesting. It looks like by Monday we might recover this thing could be out of here. We get, uh, you know, five to eight inches of rain. In other words, if it's on the high side, it's going to be bad news around here, too. The last time that happened, you had people drowning in U City, okay? Drowning in University City, Missouri. And you had the floods over in Brentwood along, uh, uh, well, you know, the Rock Hill area and everything like that. They really laugh about this stuff. You know, this sort of stuff about, you know, hurricanes coming and hitting St. Louis is funny, unless, of course, it's your neighborhood that ends up with all the basements flooded. But that's the way everything pretty much is. Uh, I will be hightailing it out for the weekend because I'm going to be back on the air in Chicago for the next two Sundays, as a matter of fact. If you uh, want to get on the Internet or go to the website, I'll give it here. It's WGN Radio 720. It's a news talk station out of Chicago, and I'll be on the air from 9 in the morning until 12.15. It's an entertainment show. I'm filling in for a guy by the name of Dean Richards. So again, back on the air in Chicago, WGN, 7.20 a.m., and you can pick that up off the Internet, WGN Radio, or on your smartphone on the app Tune In Radio, and you can check that out. And then again, it can be on next Sunday, too, so <clears throat> more about that later. All right, page 3 as Paul Harvey would say. Eddie Van Halen had to have emergency surgery for diverticulitis. That's the sort of stuff that can kill you. And, you know, it dawns on me that as the baby boomers get older and older, this is going to start happening a lot, you know, where ailments normally associated with very old people will be contracted by the rock and roll stars of our generation. You know why? Because they're getting old, and we're getting old, and people are going to start dropping dead. Uh, Sherman Hemsley uh, from the Jeffersons, apparently worth only $50,000 when he died. Yesterday, the NFL announced they're going to be using replacement officials for the first week of the season, and they are prepared to use them as much as necessary going forward because you've got a lockout going on now. Do you really think it'll affect the Rams? <laughs> I, don't, I just don't. I don't think so. It's not going to make any difference. Family Guy Seth MacFarlane is going to be hosting the season premiere of Saturday Night Live. Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt will be hosting uh, the second week, and the third episode will feature Daniel Craig. Kim Kardashian has settled up with Old Navy. Normally, I do not do Kim Kardashian stories, but you'll understand why I'm doing this one here in just a minute. Anyhow, she sued them 
for using a lookalike in a commercial. They paid her an undisclosed sum. Now, it dawns on me that Kanye West is the only man on earth who, when asked by his wife or girlfriend, does my ass look big in these jeans, the answer is supposed to be yes. Long way to go, I know. 65% of executives say the desk telephone will be extinct in the next five years. 62% of executives say the PC will be extinct in the next five years. Do you think what I'm thinking? Yes, maybe in the next 10 years, you know what's going to be extinct? Executives. FX has ordered 90 more episodes of anger management. You know what that means. Charlie Sheen can afford the good cocaine again. Jessica Simpson will be the first guest on Katie Couric's talk show. So for all you morons who thought that Katie Couric was going to come back and not do some hard-hitting journalism, yeah. <clears throat> Mitt Romney said he shops at Costco. His wife said that uh, she bought him uh, three shirts and that they shop at Costco. It's really convenient for them, by the way, because it's located inside their second home. Here are the 10 sounds we like most, and I'll follow it up with the 10 we hate the most. Number 10, church bells in the distance, cats purring, leaves crunching beneath your feet, people laughing. Number 6 is a fire crackling, birds chirping at 5, babies laughing at 4. 3, the sound of people walking in the snow, beat babies laughing? Number 2, rain hitting against the windows, well you'll certainly have an opportunity for that over the weekend. And number 1, waves crashing against the rocks, we associate that with being on vacation. The 10 sounds we hate most, number 10, a knife grinding on a plate, teeth grinding, someone talking with their mouth full, screaming babies or children, a yappy dog at six. Number five, someone spitting. Four, a dentist's drill, a car alarm at three, somebody throwing up at two, and nails on a chalkboard at number one. <clears throat> Best day to have sex. If you're watching this on Thursday, don't watch this on Thursday. Go have sex. It's supposed to be the best day. Researchers have found out that your sex home hormones are at their peak level on Thursday mornings the best day to do other activities. Here we go. You should eat out. <laughs> I didn't know there's a having sex joke there, too. You should eat out at a restaurant on Tuesday because they get their shipments of fresh food and seafood, especially on Tuesdays. On Mondays, rather. All right? So you eat there on Tuesday because they got it all sorted out. Get married on a Friday. It can cut your costs by 50%. I got married on a Friday. Uh, first time. The second time, I think, it was a Monday. But that's another story. End your eBay auction on Sunday. That's the day items sell for the highest price. Ask for a raise on Wednesdays. Managers say they're most generous that day. And quit smoking on Friday. Your willpower is the highest on the weekend. All right, JC's Eye Candy for the weekend as Hurricane Isaac gets ready to come up the Mississippi River, up the Missouri Valley there and pounce on us over the weekend, over the entire Midwest. Here is a very cool shot from outer space at night as Hurricane Isaac bears down on the Gulf Coast. And you can see certain cities really lit up and you should be able to pick out quite a few of them, especially in Florida. You should be able to see uh, Atlanta and I think one of these is pretty sure it's Dallas. No, it's probably Houston. That's okay. Well, anyhow, you can uh, play around with that and you can see that, but it's a magnificent photograph. Uh, if you've got a decent uh, computer monitor you're watching this on, you'll be able to see really, really cool things. And again, that's JC's Eye Candy right below what you're looking at right now. All right, rock and roll poll with the Labor Day here. Um, have you ever seen, overheard, or known about something your boss did that he or she could have been arrested for? No, yes, or yes, and I'll probably have a job for life because he or she knows I know. Please answer down in the corner. Results for you. We're taking Monday off, so... Uh, for the holidays, so we'll talk to you again on Thursday. We normally update on Mondays and Thursdays, and of course, you can always get on Facebook. I'm there at the Showgram with JC Corcoran, the Showgram with JC Corcoran, also on Twitter, STL JC Corcoran. All right, again, on the air for the next two Sundays from 9 until roughly noon on WGN in Chicago, 720. You may listen if you like. We'll have ourselves a good time. So that's it, JC's Daily Dose for the weekend, for the holiday. Labor Day, summer over, August 30th, 2012, a combined venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Clayton. Don't catch this cold, please. I would not recommend it. Have a great holiday weekend. We'll talk to you on the radio on Sunday. In the meantime, we've beaten this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye. <laughs>